Hey guys, welcome back to Comagen TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mad Max The Road Warrior action figure series one from In Two Toys. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. As I said today, we're taking a look at the Mad Max The Road Warrior from Into Toys Series 1. Into Toys is actually a defunct company, I believe now. I just tried looking at the website, which you can see maybe not, right there. www.intotoys.com And it no longer exists. So, not really sure what's going on there, but uh... When we open this guy up, maybe that might help discover what's going on. I did purchase this for $14.99 for my wife about six or seven years ago. Purchased it at our local comic book shop uh, long before John started up geeking out, geeking out comics. I bought it at Capital Comics and Games, which is now closed down. The owner is now a DJ at a local radio station. So, uh, as you can see here, we got... Mad Max himself on the side, Mel Gibson. This is from the second, yeah, I believe Road Warrior was the second film in the series. Uh, there was Mad Max and then Mad Max the Road Warrior, followed by Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, and more recently, Mad Max, uh, I believe it is Fury Road. Uh, my, my wife was a big Mad Max fan, so I bought this for her. She gave me permission today. To open this guy up. Well, she gave me permission yesterday. Maybe the day before. I can't remember. But she's going to allow me to open this guy up. And do a review on him. As you can see there, there's the uh, desert wasteland. From the Mad Max world in the background. You can see he's packaged in a clamshell packaging. With his dog. Some uh, binoculars. And his sh sawed off shotgun. His iconic leather jacket, the one sleeve missing. You got, as I said, you got Mel Gibson here. Mad Max the Road Warrior there. Turn that, there we go. Then over here we've got Series 1. Uh, the N2 Toys logo. As I showed you guys before, the N2 Toys logo there. www.n2toys.com uh, as I said, it's a defunct company now, I believe. Uh, that website doesn't go anywhere, so don't try. Ages 5 and older, choking hazards, obviously. Now we'll take a look at the back. Mad Max the Road Warrior. Max, the heroic loner who drives the roads of outback Australia in an unending search for gasoline. A raid against him? And the other scraggly defenders of the fuel depot encampment are the bizarre warriors commanded by the humongous, notorious for never taking prisoners when they can pulverize them instead. Forgive me if I read that wrong, guys. The, uh, <laughs> the punctuation is a little hard to see on here with the background. As you can see, you got uh, Mad Max's car there. And some other stuff, bikers and whatnot. And in the line you got... Now, none of them are actually... It doesn't actually tell who each of them are. I have seen the Mad Max Mute... Mu the I can't talk today, guys. I have seen the Mad Max movies. And aside from Max himself... I don't really know who these guys are. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've watched them. This is a WB toy, as you can see here, right there. So help me out here, guys. If you know the names of all these guys, 
please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Uh, product details and color may vary from photo from photography shown. Conforms to EN71 and ASTM F963 at date of manufacture. Product of China, package printed in China. Imported by Into Toys LLC. And there you see the address for Into Toys. Into Toys logo. Uh, trademark and copyrighted. Uh, 2000 Warner Brothers all rights reserved. Oh, okay. I guess the names are behind them. It's just you got Mad Max, you got Hum Humongous, uh, Mad Max 2, Wes, uh, Warrior Woman, and I can't really tell what that says there. Pretty cool packaging, as you can tell, it is kind of discolored. I think it's about time we take this out of the box. The glue, I doubt it's going to be holding much longer. Um, it, it's just been sitting in storage. So uh, I mentioned to my wife that I would love to be able to do a review on her Mad Max The Road Warrior figure. But I didn't really want to ta uh, ruin, take it out of the package. She said, go ahead. I said, all right, bet. <laughs> So here we are, guys. Mad Max, the Road Warrior Series 1 into toys. I'm going to take a break real quick. And we'll come back and take a look at him outside of the package. Alright, guys. So first things first. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that comes with Mad Max. You have here his little canine companion. I don't really know his name. This is pretty much all he does. Got a little bandana wrapped around his uh, neck. Uh, some decent coloring. Not bad. Definitely looks like a dog. Um, but yeah, he just he just stands there. Looks like he's walking. Uh, some interesting coloring there. Uh, his eyes are just kind of looking up like he's really kind of bored. Um... Brown paws, black fur with some uh, dirty, dirty blonde spots is what it looks like, really. Um, yeah, not really much more to say about this guy. So we're going to move him off to the side here. Then you have Max's sawed-off shotgun. Let me lower this a little bit. Right. So you have Max's sawed-off shotgun here. Not bad paint job. You can tell it's a sawed off. Very nice. They could have, you know, maybe actually put some wood grain in the handle there and the, uh, there. But overall, not bad. But where's the trigger? How's Max going to shoot anyone without a trigger? <laughs> Got a pair of binoculars here. Not bad, but it looks like Max left the lens caps on. He's not going to be able to see very far at all. <laughs> Alright guys, and here we are with Max himself, Mad Max, Mel Gibson. He's standing a little wobbly on my turntable. So, you guys may have a little trouble standing this guy. Let me see if I can... All right, so as you can see there, there's his graying temples. Uh, that actually looks more like the Mad Max from Beyond Thunderdome, really. Um, I don't think Max had the graying temple in uh, The Road Warrior, to be honest. I could be wrong. But very nice, the leather pants and the knee brace. Uh, Everything's dirty, slightly rusted. He's got a little wrench on his belt. Uh, five o'clock shadow. Very nice. Uh, the likeness isn't too bad. It's 
a product of its time, but it's not bad. Uh, I've seen better on earlier toy lines, such as the Batman Returns Bruce Wayne. Uh, you could really see Michael Keaton in that figure. Um, but still not bad. You, you can kind of tell it's Mel Gibson. Um, got the studs on his uh, little shoulder piece. Nice zipper look. Got zippers all over his leather jacket. And the leather jacket is a product of its time as well. Uh, these leather jackets were very popular in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you got zippers everywhere. Uh, you got his pouches on his uh, belt, his wrench, his straps and everything. Uh, his shoulder pad, very nice. Got his gloves there. Gratuitous butt shot. Um, doesn't really look like they took the initiative and painted the inside of his hands though for the gloves. Um, kind of disappointed in that, but... There you can see his holster for sawed off. Dirty leathered pants. Dirty leather motorcycle boots. And his leg brace. I like how they gave it the uh, rusted metal look there. And there you can see hiding in his boot is a knife. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy off the turntable and check out his articulation. All right, so as for articulation, his head does not move. Uh, he, his neck is broke, I guess. He can't turn his head at all. See, there are no joints whatsoever for him to be able to turn his head. Uh, his arms, ooh, turn all the spin all the way around. And that one, this one, it can go up to there. You, yes, you. I'm talking to you, Bob. <laughs> Mel Gibson would have made a great Wolverine if it was made in the early '90s. <laughs> um, I want you. Uh, but that's as far up as his arm goes there. It does go back to there. Uh, but that's it's hindered because of the shoulder pad. Then you got his legs. Uh, goes up to there. Back to there. The left one's the same way. No knee articulation. No knee bend. No thigh swivel. No ankle rocker, nothing. What you see is what you get. We'll stand him up there next to his dog. First, let's see how he holds on to the binoculars, shall we? I don't think he's supposed to take a, uh, to look through the binoculars. Maybe. Let's see. There we go. You got to put them in from the bottom. It's okay. He can't bring them up to his eyes though. <laughs> Which is slightly disappointing. No peeping for you. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and take that out. And try his sawed off shotgun. It is slightly loose, but it sits in there pretty well. Um, his finger doesn't really go to where the trigger is supposed to be. It's in that constant um, st st state of safety, pretty much. Um, he doesn't really look like he's going to shoot anybody, to be honest. Um, but, yeah. And there is no... No opening in his... 
holster there to be able to put the shotgun in. Nowhere really to attach the uh, binoculars. You can't put them in the pouch here. Um, it's a action figure, as the review spot would say. Uh, Staction. Four points of articulation. That's it. Uh, they could have at least given us a uh, head swivel. I mean, he's not even looking at what he's going to shoot. It, it's just... Uh, I don't know, guys. I think I overpaid on this, but uh, as for my wife, so... What you gonna do, brother? Alright, guys, so something I forgot to mention was his height. Let's see how Mel here, Mad Max, measures up against the trusty tape measure. As you can see, he's just about six inches tall. He has an arm span on one arm, about two and a half inches. Legs about four inches. So he, he's proportionate. He's proportioned well. So there you have it, guys. From WB Toys and In Two Toys, Mad Max the Road Warrior. You got Max. You got his sawed-off shotgun. You got his binoculars that he can't use. And you got his dog that doesn't move. It's just stuffed. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, guys. Take care. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.